Hello everybody, it's David here again, and uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to manually instrument .NET applications with OpenTelemetry. Now, I'll, I'll give you a little tour of the application we're going to be instrumenting first. So over here in my Visual Studio Code environment, I have got a .NET login application. Very, very simple. It's got a bit of startup going on here. We've got uh, essentially the main, the main method over here. We've got one login controller that's just returning a user ID, right? Very, very simple. What we're doing is getting a random user ID and returning that over um, HTTP. We're actually returning JSON. So, you know, very, very simple. But, you know, ultimately, a serious point here is that, you know, login is generally a very slow process, right? Lots of people get very frustrated with logins. Generally takes quite a long time. It's very, very important that we have some visibility into what's going on when a customer logs in or somebody logs into a system, right? We need to see exactly what's happening uh, and can also help with security as well. At the moment, my application has absolutely no visibility. I can't really see anything that's going on. I might actually get some logs. You know, there's a little bit of log information here. But ultimately, I'd like to get much better visibility about what's happening, as particularly around this, uh, this login process here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in Open Telemetry. Open Telemetry is going to give me a lot more information about what's happening, how long requests are taking. Um, I can even add little bits of information, you know, like the user uh, user ID into my Open Telemetry spans if I want to. Uh, and I'm going to start getting some information about, you know, if this service is impacting my customers. Now, how do we do that? Well, the first thing I would do, I recommend everybody does, is to go over here to the Open Telemetry website and have a look at the manual instrumentation section for .NET. Okay. So, one thing I just want to make clear is that uh, there are a few differences, right, from the standard Open Telemetry libraries you might be used to if you're using Python or Java. Uh, ultimately, the way that uh, it works in .NET is that the tracing API is implemented by the system diagnostics API, which you're seeing here, right? And so when we do this, we use activity source and activity. So we're not using spans uh, and baggage and things like that. We're using Microsoft terminology. We're using things like activity and activity source, but it does translate one-to-one -one perfectly to a span, right? So activity is a span, you know, it's just a little bit of different terminology that you've got to get used to. So the first thing we need to do, as it says here, is we need to, in, in our ASP.NET Core app, is we need to add some packages. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add these. Very easy to do. You just copy and paste that into command, the command line here, and it will add those packages for you into your .NET application. Once you've done that, then we want to add in some uh, service configuration. Now, in my login app over here, I've got one I made for this manual instrumentation exercise in here in the startup script, in the startup uh, C-sharp classes, sorry, you've actually got a configure service method. And in here, we're actually adding the open telemetry and the tracing. Now, one thing that, that caught me out here is I did need to add in this add ASP net core instrumentation method. And that's not something which I, I saw here in the documentation for open telemetry. But it's very important to get me up and running with open telemetry so you can see you don't need a lot of configuration just a little bit uh, but yes this uh, asp net core instrumentation method is very important once you've added that in you actually then in the login controller you just add one of these uh, activity sources and then you wrap any code that you want to measure with a particular separate you know uh, activity or, or span in open telemetry parlance uh, with with that activity. So we've wrapped this um, user generation code or this logging code with uh, a, an activity. So we can know exactly how long it's taking to do authentication, which is really important to us, right? We want to make sure our customers are not being impacted by slow logins. So we put all the pieces in place here. The only other thing you need to do is you need to make sure you've got all the uh, open telemetry environment variables right and you can actually get these from elastic so elastic is 100 percent compatible with open telemetry uh first class support and if you go over here to uh, observability and you click on apm you'll see in here services and if you click on add data 
that you see there in the top right hand corner and scroll down you'll see an open telemetry tab and as long as you set the environment variables in the way that is mentioned in this tab you'll be able to get up and running very quickly so we've already done that we put that in our application here we put the environment variables in here all ready to go uh, and then we added the uh, the dotnet entry point there so really simple just uh, the activity source here wrapping the code that you want to trace this is for manual instrumentation remember and in the startup we just add the bootstrap code including that asp core instrumentation and then as long as we have these environment variables set you're good to go it really is that simple so let's get on with it let's uh, build our docker container here we can see i really like this right so you know i always used to do builds back in the old days where now uh, you know, you used to do it on your, your machine and then it goes into CI CD and it fails. But I love this ability to do builds from source code inside Docker containers. It means they're much less likely to fail on the CI CD environment when you when you push there. So I thought it was pretty cool. So now we've built that, we're actually gonna run our Docker container. And uh should start up in a minute. There we go. And if we go over here, we've actually got it up and running, as you can see. We can just you know, refresh it, different usernames come back. And if we hop over to Elastic, we can actually see in the APM section over here that, uh, yes, indeed, it's popped up. There we go. So now we actually have full traceability um, in uh, into the login, login transaction here. And we can see exactly how long it's taking. Now, it's kind of unsurprising, really, that this is actually very, very quick. Uh, we're actually doing some work over here. We've got some information here about that um, that activity and what's happening and some trace IDs. So now we really have implemented open telemetry and we get full visibility into how long that login process is taking. So it's that easy to instrument with open telemetry and uh, so happy, happy instrumenting. Now, if you do want to uh, actually get started with Elastic APM, scan one of the QR codes, it should take you to either the Quick Start Guide, the Open Telemetry Integration, or the Elastic Observability Guide, and that should be able to get you up and running very, very quickly. Thanks very much, everybody. Take care.